Here's some interesting tech news that recently showed up on our radar. To my surprise, Google has confirmed that starting in late March of 2025, all future Android development will now occur entirely within their own internal development branch. It's a big headline that I've seen a lot of discussion about lately, but trust me, it's not as crazy as you think. So real quick, let me give you a breakdown on everything you need to know. We'll cover what this change means for the Android community and what you can expect moving forward. That way, you'll be up to speed on any future updates. That said, please, Sit back, relax, and consider subscribing to the 9to5 Google YouTube channel for more amazing Android coverage like this. Admittedly, there's a lot of information here, so let's get started with the immediate news. As I mentioned, Google has confirmed that starting in late March of 2025, all Android development will now occur internally. Or, in other words, the entire process of creating and updating the Android operating system will take place behind closed doors at Google. This is a pretty big change from how things have been done in the past, where some parts of Android were developed publicly in the Android Open Source Project, or AOSP for short. For those who don't know, AOSP is the publicly available source code for Android that anyone can download, use, modify, and distribute where users don't need a special kind of license or pay any specific fees to access it. This is great because developers and companies can take the base version of Android to optimize it for all different kinds of devices. The community can contribute to the project as well to improve the stability of Android, and overall, it's a super accessible version of Android that also is the basis for a lot of custom ROMs like Lineage OS or Graphene OS as examples. But on top of it all, one of the biggest benefits of the AOSP build is how it allowed the community to follow the development progress of Android as changes to the source code were available for the public to view and follow along in real time. And that's most likely the biggest pain point with this change as it seems the real-time aspect of monitoring development will be lost moving forward. To be clear, Android will still remain open source as Google has has confirmed they're still committed to publishing the source code, which is great, don't get me wrong, but it will only be released alongside a new version of Android. So when Android 16 is released, the source code for that will be made available. Same with Android 17, 18, and so on. As to why Google is making this change, we're still waiting for an official statement at the time of this recording, but there is a lot that we can speculate on here. For one, this shift should make the development process more efficient as Google was effectively maintaining two versions of Android prior to this change, a public AOSP branch and an internal development branch. One of the issues with this approach is that there can be conflicts at times where something may be fixed on the AOSP branch, but not in Google's internal development branch and vice versa. So when it comes to merging the two branches, conflicts could arise, which takes a significant amount of time and effort to address. Basically, Google is taking the entire Android development private, then releasing the source code when a new version is complete. This should simplify workflows for pretty much everyone across the board. For developers and OEMs, they'll only have to worry about one specific version of Android, and for Google, consolidating development efforts into a single internal branch should lead to a more efficient development process. Another aspect we need to keep in mind here is how this will affect the rest of the Android community. From what's being speculated at this time, regular Android users will likely see minimal to no impact from this change, at least for now anyways. But over time, we could possibly see more stable and polished updates since the issue of merge conflicts should be largely resolved, and it is possible we could get faster, more consistent updates in the long run since the overall purpose of this change is to streamline development. As for the various groups of developers though, things could change depending on your use case and whatever your angle is here. For companies that release or use customized versions of Android, it's unlikely things will change much as they rarely use the main AOSP branch due to its instability anyways. The same goes for those that build custom ROMs as they typically work with specific release branches, not the latest AOSP build. But if you're an external developer who actively follows Android development or contributes to AOSP, you'll most likely be affected the most. From what we know so far about this change, you won't be able to follow real-time development or track changes as they happen, and contributing to Android's development will probably be more difficult since the most publicly available information could be weeks or months old. And also, we still don't know at this time how developers are going to be able to contribute, if possible at all. Lastly, another huge group affected by this change will be those that dig into the source code specifically to look for leaks, new features, or people looking for hints on upcoming Android information. In the past, AOSP patches often provided early insights into Google's development plans, and because AOSP is a public platform, people could monitor the source code changes 
to find anything newsworthy. Not sure if you remember, but there have been multiple leaks in the past that stemmed from source code within the AOSP build. The Pixel 10 leak is the most prominent recent example where new contributions to the source code showed leakers that Google made changes mentioning a new performance mode and conservative mode that were tested on Pixel 10 hardware. There was also a Pixel webcam feature that was leaked prematurely alongside the release date of Android 16. So in general, it's clear that there's a lot of information getting revealed through the AOSP build and it does make sense that Google would want to mitigate as much of that as possible. As to what we can expect in the future, Google has stated they will share more details about this change in a formal announcement later this week, and new documentation will also be available on source.android.com when the time comes that should hopefully give more insight as to what's going on here. If there is anything significantly new, we'll be sure to have a discussion about it. Otherwise, please keep an eye out on the 9to5Google website for more. In closing, my friends, this change from an open development model to an internal branch is one we'll have to keep an eye out for to see how things play out. I do think this is a big loss for the Android enthusiasts if they do lose out on the ability to follow the day-to-day -day development process, as that's something that I would love to monitor if I was a developer. But in the grand scheme of things, I think this is a positive step for Android as a whole to be more stable and streamlined for everyone. It is worth noting, though, that Google is one of the only major companies that releases the full source code for their operating system. Companies like OnePlus, Samsung, Huawei, Amazon, Apple especially, none of them release the source code. So Google Google's in an interesting position here, dealing with some issues that no one else really has to work with. Either way, I'll be keeping an eye on this situation, but please leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. Do you think this is a positive step for Android with good changes on the horizon, or is there something concerning about this change that needs to be addressed? Leave a comment down below, but in the meantime, I'm getting out of here. Before I do, huge shout out to our channel members on screen right now. Simply put, we greatly appreciate you guys and please do not forget to grab the March wallpaper pack in the community post. If you're not a channel member and want to gain access for yourself, consider picking up a channel membership as you'll also gain access to our massive backlog of wallpapers from our previous months. Until next time, this has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.